Cinnaboy Downs is proud to present our featured field in this the third race. It's the 85th running of the Winnipeg Futurity. They're going to go six furlongs for a purse of $50,000. Number one is Sly Gold, owned by Hillside Farms, Warner, Crockett, Anderson, and Bosman, trained by Blair Miller with Adolfo Morales. Number two is Blue Dancer, owned by Derby Quest Farms, and Shot in the Dark Racing Corp, trained by Greg Tracy with Paul Nolan. Number three is I'm a Flashy Girl, owned by TG Stable, trained by Blair Miller, with Christopher Husbands. Number four is Total Gold, owned by K5 Stable, trained by Jody Rodal, with Travis Cunningham. Rounding out our featured field is number five, Spider's Alibi, owned by Terry Props, Trained by Charlie Smith with Alexis Batista. Following the running of the Winnipeg Futurity, President shall be set. They're at the post. And they're off in the 85th running of the Winnipeg Futurity. Stumbling a bit at the start was I'm a Flashy Girl. From the inside, Sly Gold. Pointed straight out after the early lead with Blue Dancer. Painted on the outside. And then it's about two lengths back to I'm a Flashy Girl. With Spider's Alibi on the outside. And the trailer, Total Gold, is about 10 off the lead. They went the opening quarter in 23 seconds. Sly Gold on the inside. Blue Dancer battling on the outside. Spider's Alibi. The stalker is starting to get into it in third. I'm a flashy girl falling back in fourth. And the trailer total gold starting to get some run going. The half 46 and two. Blue Dancer spins out of the turn with the advantage. Sly Gold is backing out of it. Spider's Alibi with a full head of steam on the outside. Blue Dancer is not going to get caught today. Blue Dancer takes the Winnipeg Futurity. Spider's Alibi, second best. Third goes to Sly Gold and fourth to Total Gold. In the winner's enclosure is the official winner of race number three, the 85th running of the Winnipeg Futurity. That's number two, Blue Dancer. Blue Dancer's a dark bay or brown colt, two years old by Bluegrass Cat. Out of the Mare, two halos by St. Bellato. Owned by Derby Quest Farms and Shot in the Dark Racing. Trained by Greg Tracy and ridden a victory by Paul Nolan. Time for the six furlongs, 112 flat. On hand in the winner's enclosure, Harvey Warner, president of the Manitoba Jockey Club, will make a presentation to the winning connections. Race three is official, and ladies and gentlemen, here are your official combo payoffs for a $2 win play show on number two, Blue Dancer, which is combo number one, pays $12.70. For a $2 Quinella box, using the numbers two and five, which is combo number two, pays $10. And for a $1 ASD zone, Patakos Rob McLennan has the winning connections of the Winnipeg Futurity. Rob, take it away. Thanks, Kurt. We're down here with the winning connections of the uh, Winnipeg Futurity. Greg Tracy, obviously not here. Uh, Derby Quest and Shot in the Dark Racing. But we do have Paul Nolan, the winning jockey. Definitely drew off by a convincing margin. And, but he did have to duel to get there. What do you think of the trip and what was your plan going in? First of all, I want to say thanks for, to Greg for letting me ride the Colt. You know, last time I rode for him, I think it was a filly called Little Miss Allison and we won the Houston Oaks together. So we're back to back stakes now, Greg. Remember that. <laughs> Thank you very much. Appreciate it. And your team. Uh, he broke nice, you know. Greg said sit close to the one horse because obviously he showed speed last time. I had an easy lead. And uh, Michael broke a, lot, broke a lot faster than I thought he would. You know, looking at, I watched those little two races. 
and he broke good nice and he's put me in a nice position and uh, I was able to pressurize the one a little bit and, and every time I just did a little tap on the shoulder to keep lead it, when I left him a little bit, he looked around a bit and I tapped him on the shoulder, he jumped right back into it. It's like a, he's a bit of a baby still, he's a little learning still, and it's just helping him along a little bit, but you know, when I asked him to go, him and he was strong. And he's not always you want to get on in a race, two-year-old you want to get on in a race like this, you know? Yeah, yeah, he really did look like one of those ones that kind of as soon as you asked him, he had more and more. What did you kind of think coming out of the wire? Did you have the challenge? You felt the spider's alibi a little bit on the outside? Did you have more horses? Two turns even a possibility with this horse, you think? He got that really strong. I, mean, I couldn't pull him up to way down the backside. And, you know, you have to use him a little bit of the lane just to keep going. And, they said he looked. At, well, they said the first time he ran, when he broke his maiden, he looked around on his own when he's out there. So I just, I didn't really have to beat him or hit him. So I just wanted to get into his task to make keep his mind on it. And you know, you get the 50, and then you look at the next race. So uh, you know, he ran a good race. He focused. He galloped out good. So I don't see why he shouldn't go longer next time. Yeah, he definitely looks like a horse with a promising future. Always a nice thing. Anything else to add before we wrap this up? Uh, uh, Robbie and his team, they looked after him for a, what, a week. So they did a good job keeping him, getting him keeping him ready for the race and uh, I once again thanks Greg thanks to your team back there in uh, Northlands and good job and uh, congratulations on your two other stakes today. Yeah congratulations from all of us here to those connections that couldn't be with us tonight and jockey Paul Nolan a fantastic ride. Back up to you Kurt. Thank you very much Rob in the upcoming fourth race here at ASD there are no changes.